Cacked. Hello everyone and welcome back to Getting the Spawn Point Camp with uh, with your host Laura. <laughs> so we ended the last episode with this rather um, unfortunate firefight here where the um, entire area was getting shelled from nearby. And so we're going to start again and see if we can do any better this time. Now there were a lot more soldiers around than this before. I'm not sure where they've all gone and where they all came from because they're definitely not here now. Maybe they came running into the building. Oops, there's one out there somewhere. Let's let him come a bit closer so I can hit him more reliably. And that one up on the top. If they're going to be this close, maybe I should be using a shotgun. Yeah. Okay, I think things have calmed down a little bit now. Love those barrels against any soldiers out there? Yes, I can. Maybe that one's well. There's definitely a soldier up there. Hopefully that's got rid of it. Nope. So, yes, this is going... reasonably. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's less accurate than I hoped. Or less effective than I hoped, anyway. There we go. So, last time we were here, we discovered... Um, I'm sure I discovered a medipack up here somewhere. Um, yes, we discovered that well, the soldiers keep coming in for a while, but then eventually they sort of, they, the supply of them does dry up a bit. The big problem I had was that there was a load of mortar fire coming in from outside somewhere. And that was really, um, really caught some, some problems. Because basically as soon as I headed outside, as soon as anyone spotted me, or maybe even before, I'm not quite sure, there was, the, the mortar fire came in and started just blowing everything up. Um, and that was rather tricky too. <laughs> basically I just meant I couldn't couldn't sit behind cover and and hope for the best. That was a miss, that was terrible. I'm not sure whether this is effective or not. Um oops, yes, to speak. There we go, ten headshots. Getting getting there. <laughs> Do with something a bit more effective at the sort of range. Because whilst this is working, I feel like I'm getting through a lot of my magnum ammunition. And I still feel a little bit. Is that. I still feel a bit weird about the pistol and the, um, the hand cannon pistol of that being my most accurate sniping weapon. But never mind. There's another medikit in here, wasn't there? Yes, there we go. And plenty of health in the machine down there. So, as long as... Ooh, more incoming fire. As long as I can sort of stay out of trouble to an extent and not get all my health take, taken away too quickly, this might work, might be manageable. Ah, move. Only one of these left now. Is it worth it? I don't know. Ah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so if I go out there, I'm probably going to get shelled again. But if I don't, I'm not going to get anywhere. I wonder if this pistol's any good for accurate shooting. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that's the mortar fire I'm talking about. If I sit still for too long, the bat comes in and generally wrecks my <laughs> wrecks my day completely. Um, but if I just stay here, then I end up using all my ammunition up, all my ammunition up, taking pot shots at them at ridiculous range, and not doing anything. Maybe if I run up, run around outside and attempt to use the shotgun on them. See. Maybe I can get a bit closer and then just shotgun them at short range and just and keep moving so that I don't so I don't get owned too much by the um, by the mortar that mortar fire and see if I can find a way out of here. I don't have a great deal of shotgun ammunition though, so can I go in here? Aha! This might be the answer. Well, I better be the answer because I'm not going back up that ladder. Right. That'll keep me going for a little while. I think in this sort of condition, a shotgun is probably the right weapon. So let's with it for now. Jeez. How much are they hitting this area? This area. That looked like a stormtrooper, but no, it's just a normal marine. He was very still. Was he hanging from some, from a rope or something? Yes, I think he was. He was surprisingly difficult to deal with. I think there's going to be any more goodies in these boxes. I could definitely do with a lot more armour at this point. Do with a lot more of everything. Um, come on, another one. Ow! Coming down ropes from above. Presumably from a helicopter, or I don't know. It's just to encourage me to platform, I guess. Ooh. Now, that's probably another couple from the helicopter again. Yeah, I just didn't have enough health left for that bit. Where's well, going to put me? Probably at the bottom of that. Yes, here. Okay. That's that area being opened up. So that get a couple of marines in at this point. There they are. Nice. So. Yay. That's horrific, they're so close, they can just blast the hell out of me. Right, let's get this bit... No, not like that. Ow, that was not the way I wanted to do that. That said, I've got more health left than I had last time I got down here. Ow, no. Okay, note to self, fire Bernie. Where are they? shoot them as soon as they appear this time. One. Jeez. Right. I don't like that. <laughs> they're really difficult to deal with when they're in that position. Ah, a ladder. Let's try and use that this time. 
see my usual complaints about ladder. There's the way out. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is getting embarrassing. Okay. Let's try a slightly different tactic this time before I let... See if I can... Now, if I put a grenade in from here, they're going to shoot me. If I get back around here... Will that work? No, not like that anyway. Nah, they're bouncing the wrong way. That's not how physics works, apparently. Okay, full on Leroy Jenkins then. No best in the previous way. Okay, so the answer is don't fall off the bloody catwalks. Drop down there and in the hole. Right. Huh. I think I've died more times trying to get down that bit than I did in the rest of the game put together. Let's try to not be quite so rubbish. I suppose I'm wearing an HEV suit, they're pretty heavy. <clears throat> oh, back to head crabs. I think this is more accurate than the machine gun, which makes sense. At least at short distance. Short range. I think I want to have the machine gun ready just in case I run into a load more soldiers. Right, there's not much difference. But with this one, if I feel the need, I can always spray and pray. may or may not be a good idea. Remains to be seen. <laughs> Actually, spraying an entire clip just to get rid of a head crab or two seems like a bit of a waste of ammunition, so let's try not to do that. Sounds like more scientists getting killed for, well, I suppose for being scientists. scientists and not one of them fought back <laughs> Sucks. time for that to change at least they can't grenade me here because of the um, fence in the way Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Yeah. Judging by your hazard suit, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. Of course it is. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever is left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Right. Huh. I thought there was more through there, but I guess I'm not going back. Okay. 
Okay. Don't need any health. The HEV charge is empty. I wonder if that um, is less empty if you're playing on easy. Because I've seen I've seen a few of these now, um, suit chargers that have had absolutely no juice in them whatsoever. And it seems odd that they'd have... Well, I suppose maybe they're just there for decoration. That is possible. Yeah, nothing. Same might be true of the boxes, actually. Maybe on easy they have a bit more... have a few more goodies in them. I guess based on what that scientist was... saying... We've now left the area the military were controlling and we're moving into sort of a forgotten part of the part of Black Mesa. So I guess it's going to be back to sneaky, spooky, alien infested areas again. Although now I'm slightly better armed and maybe therefore better able to deal with them. We'll see. Yeah, that sounds like. Oh, it's on those things. Oh, that was my last grenade. Yikes. Did not dodge quickly enough. Is that spraying off the roof, do you think? No, shotgun won't be. That. Oh, Magnum. Do I have any Magnum ammo? That's a no then. Oh, I did manage to kill it though. Any more for any more? No, just the one down there. on the door trying to get away from the thing. Ooh, grenades. Definitely needed those. I didn't want to open fire too much because of those um, those barrel uh, boxes. They look like the sort that... Yeah, we'll do that. And then... Sounds like a creeper. Yes, that. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen while I was in there. Security door. What's that opened? Has that opened? I mean, it must have done. I pushed a button, it says security door on it. A door must have opened somewhere. Let's go and see if we can work out where. No. Oh, for can't get used to these ladders. They're just... Nope, nothing exciting. Oh, maybe that was a... S no, that looks like an acid barrel rather than an exploding barrel. That's much less... much less fun. I have to admit, I don't know if it's worth actually... Most of them don't seem to have anything in, but then every so often you get one with a couple of bat with a battery in it, and those are definitely worth having. So, oh, I don't know. This makes me think of the lift down or the um, the route down to Ravensholm in the um, in Half Life Two. So, <laughs> I'm kind of concerned things are going to get creepy and zombie-y again. <laughs> I guess we shall see. At least the sort of sneaky, creepy bits I'm a little bit better at. I don't tend to die quite as much. Although maybe that was just because it was the very beginning of the game. And therefore, the enemies were a lot less dangerous, the game was a lot less difficult, and so on. Might mean more. 
Okay, here's the railway line that Santos was talking about. Ha! <laughs> the, um, I'm sure the original Half-Life didn't have usable vehicles like that. That must be a, um, a source engine addition. I don't need health. Would like armor. Ooh, ammunition. Yeah. Yes? Let's make sure everything's, everything's got a full clip as well. Sounds about right, I have to admit. Yeah, let's not do this on foot since there's a convenient train thing to use. So, there's bound to be something attacking me as I go along here. Nice, so we're gonna be footballing this all the way along, no we're not, okay. Those are reasonably easy to deal with. The big spitty ones, I don't know, they seem to be difficult. I feel like the weaponry I have isn't quite powerful enough for them. Now I feel the game was giving me a bit of a hint when it gave me all the ammunition for this gun, so I'm going to switch to it for a bit, see if it's, see if it's a bit more suitable. <laughs> I keep expecting something to appear behind me just to... Ooh, nice. Right, the end of the line, I believe. I don't think I want to go in there somehow. I can hear my gag counter ticking away gently. Can't go along that ledge because there's a big rock in the way there. So I guess I better go this way. Possibly a way across. It looks um, uninviting, should we say? But no, there's nothing else up here. Okay then. Glowing catwalk it is. I'm just <laughs> glad none of that fell, and fell through as I jumped across. Only... No! Oh, oh. Huh. You know how I said I don't really like jumping puzzles? Turns out I don't really like jumping puzzles. Now this, on the other hand, is a perfect place to get attacked by a head crab. Um, this is a drop into the, <laughs> into the pipe puzzle, that's a bit more manageable. This feels familiar, That just that little bit there, maybe that was in the original. Maybe the train was and I just don't remember it. Oh crap. No! Uh, the weapon. There we go. Vital signs are dropping. <sighs> Those things are vicious. Look at that! Look how much it spat out at me. Jeez. Right, um 
At least I seem to have the right weapon for dealing with those. There are two shots from the Magnum, and they're nice big targets, and they tend to, tend to be reasonably close. Okay, this is the the way back for when you inevitably fall off there because you're crap at jumping. <laughs> Let's go up here and see what we can do. Or because you spot something down there that leaps out and attacks you. Nope, that seems to be okay actually. What was that? I heard something. Oh, that. Yes. Ah, oh, that's better. I feel like I've got enough health now that I can um, stop worrying for a, for a minute or two at least. Is that another one? Yeah. Okay, I'm getting used to them now. I've worked out how to deal with them. I wonder if those barrels explode as well. I'm gonna say no. I think I hit it. Need to hit it again. Does it count as metagaming and sort of using external information if you learn that a spitty boy takes two shots to kill? I mean, is that something that you'd expect the antagonist, uh, sorry, the protagonist of the game to? pick up and realise that, hey, if I shoot this guy twice with my magnum, then it drops. Or is it thinking it has... Oh, I can't get over there. Um, it's thinking it has two magnums worth of health. Kind of... inaccurate. And just obviously assuming they're all the same, because they're the same type of creature. This is another sort of find the way across the jumps, isn't it, puzzle? Ooh, like that. <laughs> and uh, try to ignore the, the amount of sound being made by your Gaggy counter. No, not the flashlight. The push button, receive upwardsness. I'm glad that went off. If it had gone down into the, into the radioactive gear, I'd have been in real trouble. <laughs> I feel like there was a bit more area to explore down there. Like maybe I left the room without doing everything, but oh well, never mind. What's that? Oh, this is a. Um, this looks like a lot like the uh, track that the metro system at the beginning of the game used. Okay, I can hear sinister noises ahead of me, and I've just passed the loading screen, and I think it's been about half an hour. So I'm going to call that a good place to end the episode um, before I sneak on any further and get horribly killed yet again. Let's hope the next episode goes a bit more smoothly from that point of view. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.